Uganda's forest policy of 2001 expresses government's commitment to gender equality. The policy is aimed at ensuring that gender concerns are integrated into the development of the forest sector. This includes increasing women's security of tenure over forest resources and their active participation of women in the decision-making, resource management and sharing of benefits. The rights and responsibilities of women in the implementation of forest tenure reforms in Uganda have taken shape in different ways in the country. Women are accessing land and uh, this access is based on the fact that either you are married or you are behaving well and the person who defines good manners is not her herself. But in terms of ownership then, it is not easy to define ownership and uh, it is worse for women whereby they base on the character of that woman compared to a man who is in that household. We have uh, a global uh, paradigm shift in the way we manage resources of forestry in terms of uh, making sure that issues of gender are taken care of. The forest policy looks at women and other vulnerable groups as groups which require to be given an affirmative action in the management and of these forestry resources. For example, under collaborative forest management, it is a, it is a policy requirement that at least 30% of uh, the people that are engaged in uh, collaborative forest management should be women. Under the various forest tenure reform arrangements and in line with the forest policy, women have been brought on board, supported and encouraged to actively participate in the use, holding and management of forest lands. Maldren is among the women taking lead roles in the running of the Mugarama Private Forest Owners Association in Kibale. Mugarama Private Forest Owners Association is a part of the forest owners the women who have their land have they, they are free to apply for these tree seedlings and they go and plant their trees. Even those who don't have land but can be part of the collaborative forest uh, management group, they can always access these uh, inputs and engage in the forestry, the forestry business. As provided for in part two of the National Forestry and Tree Planting Act, communities in different parts of the country are now managing forests as responsible bodies. Aquero Juli is a member of the Lamor Environmental Protection Association, a local community-based organisation tasked with managing the customary forest lands in the area. Membership in the organisation has secured various rights for women in accessing, holding and managing the forest lands. Yen mano tuo mati buane, one to a year borrow a chair with Tom or Kelo. Kidong yaman in an unwise pierni. Yan on yak ti buan one or chair with Yaho ya or Kelo gang. Lane mone, mone, cono one. Mono mama, one machal mon, what timo. Kidong one machal mon, bene, what team member. 
e group eno me le pani no eno be ne ye bot wa me ti mo jin eno ma chal wan mon what is on paper is very clear actually our constitution is gender sensitive but when it comes to to operation now on ground especially within Uganda and just Lamo here when you go to our clan meetings if you just sample them you find that women can be allowed to sit and then they they talk on other matters like maybe domestic violence and what but when it comes on a topic on land uh, they actually tell them to get out because that is now not a woman's matter to discuss in Uganda like in many developing countries situation land is owned by men and the trees are long term crops so you find that if it is not in the interest of the land owner who happens to be either the husband or the father if you are like a daughter wished to plant some trees on your father's land then you not do so and the percentage of women owning land is very very small ignorance of the law is also there and some of these women they don't know what is there for them some of them also have inferiority complex they even just decide to to, to shy away and say uh, I'm just a mere woman. If I start uh, talking about this, won't they chase me away from this compound? Things are very tricky when a woman stays with a man, not married, and does not have a child. The clan tends to drive the woman out of that land. That is a practice we have, and it's very unfortunate. So in such a situation, there is no equal bargain. In light of these challenges, the government continues to conduct gender analysis and put various strategies in place in district development plans. It has also worked on strengthening its partnerships with the various non-state actors and communities in the country. C4 and Aupwe, in collaboration with local communities, both men and women, NGOs and district and central government officials, piloted an approach that strengthened women's rights to forests and trees. The Adaptive Collaborative Management, ACM, which aims to level the playing field, resolve conflict, foster collaboration and negotiation, and build skills and capacities, is a viable way to promote gender equality, even among communities that are strongly patriarchal and characterised by cultural practices that exclude women from tree planting and land ownership.